Hey what's up guys and welcome to a very short China phone tutorial. So today I want to show you how to factory reset a China phone with Chinese recovery and also explain the recovery menu a little bit. I'm using the iOcean X7S and the HTC S5 in this video and now let's get started. So as you may know a Chinese recovery menu looks really weird, there's so many Chinese signs and if you just want to factory reset your phone because it's not booting anymore or you just want to reset it then it's maybe really hard to find the correct option. But before I will show you this, I want to show you how to enter this recovery menu. So entering this recovery menu is actually pretty easy. First you have to make sure that your phone is turned off and then you have to press the volume down key on the left side here and the power button at the same time. If you have a mechanical home button and not a capacitive home button, then you can also press it. So press those three buttons and then just keep holding them until you're in the recovery menu. And here you will see factory mode and now you're in. Okay, so when you're in the factory mode menu, then you will see here several lines in Chinese. And you can switch here between the lines with the volume up and volume down key on the left side of your phone. And as you can see, you can go here through the options. And now I will explain what each one does. Starting with the top, we have manual test, then we have individual test, and then we have test results on this phone. Sometimes you also have four options here on the top. Then we have debug test options. Then the fifth one is wipe eMMC. Basically that's the option which you use when you want to reset your phone. Then after this we usually have versions info. So this tells you some basic information about the phone system software. And last but not least we have reboot so you can reboot your phone. And you can use the power button or the home button to enter any of those options. So this depends on the phone model. And I have now entered the individual test mode of this phone. And now you can use the home button to um, enter those test modes, for instance the LED test. And let's try this. And as you can see the LED on the left top corner here flashes in different colors, so it is working. And in this test mode here you can test out various things of your phone if they work or if they do not work. And I cannot explain what everything is because it would be too long and also sometimes don't know what those Chinese things are. And some things are easy to read like eMMC for instance, basically that tells you how much internal memory your phone has. And also some other things, so just try them out, you won't break your phone. Then here we have test results, so this shows you test results if you have auto test on your phone, if you have tested stuff and that turns green or red depending if it has worked or not. And the fourth or fifth option is usually debug test options. As you can see it has a little bit more of those Chinese signs. And here you have test options for debug purposes but you won't need that. And then the fifth or sixth option which has eMMC in the line is wipe eMMC. And you use that when you want to factory reset your phone. So I will do this later and then we will see if it has worked. And here the seventh or sixth one is version info, so here you can find some basic information about your phone, like it has the MT6582 SoC, you can see here the modem version, build time, kernel version, also the software version and some other stuff. You can scroll down here with the volume up and volume down button, and to go back just press the back button, the capacitive back button on your phone. And this is different depending on the phone model. And last but not least we have reboot. So now I will wipe the eMMC because I wanted to show you how to factory reset your China phone. And now I'll press the home button to wipe the eMMC and as you can see it starts to wipe it. And when the process is finished the phone will reboot automatically. And once again only do that if your phone is not booting anymore. Because um, if you don't have issues and you do that then maybe you will break your phone. And as you can see the phone has rebooted now and everything has been resetted to zero. And now you have to reconfigure your phone. So it's just like you get it from your factory. But you keep a few data like for instance pictures. But um, contacts or SMS will be gone, okay? So be careful with that. Okay, so now you just have to reconfigure your phone, add your account, set date and time, and then you're done. Your phone is resetted. So basically that was my tutorial on how to reset your China phone with Chinese recovery. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have questions or if anything is not working, feel free to visit chinadevices.com, register, make a new thread, and I will try to reply as soon as possible. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.